What's going on, my boys? My boys! Yo, the Smash Brothers hype is going to reach its peak tomorrow. You all know what the deal is. I don't have to inform you. Smash Brothers is going to be featuring Corrin slash Gamui, as I like to call her, and Bayonetta in their DLC patch. Dude, I know everyone's excited about Bayonetta, but Corrin's gotta be my favorite pick, only because she was kind of a fantasy character that I kind of had. I mean, of course, there's other Nintendo veterans that I guess, you know, definitely need some spotlight too, but she was on my fantasy list, and the fact that it happened, I'm, I'm fucking happy. But anyways, guys, Guys, I know for a fact that you dudes are going to be looking forward to some streams tomorrow, so I'm announcing it right now. Your boy is definitely doing a live stream tomorrow for the release of the DLC. Now, Nintendo specifically said that the characters come out at some point in the afternoon on the 3rd, so that's what I'm going to be trying to aim my stream for, so maybe this time tomorrow I'll start it, and we'll be streaming all day long. I'll fuck you up if you need me to. We're going to be playing on the 3DS version, and I'll potentially be trying to get some games in on the Wii U as well. It all depends. I've been trying to find a lagless way to play on my catch a card from the Wii U, but anyways, guys, all that said and done, one thing that didn't happen was Wolf being released, so even even though I did initially fuck up in that announcement or that bet because I meant to say early 2016 but instead I said January so I know whatever I fucked myself up I'm gonna take my medicine like a man don't you worry I'm still gonna make that sandwich but the thing is is that there were so many people that were speculating later dates when it came to the DLC characters being announced I mean we have people saying the 15th of February the 20th of February but no one expected the third as I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably thinking too so it kind of hit me off guard so, which means that I have to like pretty much forward production on a lot of things that I was working for for those releases really quickly. So I'm not going to be able to get to making that sandwich as quick as you guys probably wanted me to because the DLC was announced for so soon. I mean, no one thought it was going to be the third. So anyways, I'm pushing back the sandwich for a later date um, later on in February. Don't worry, you guys. I'm going to live up to it. I ain't dodging nothing. All right. I'm, I'm going to take my goddamn medicine. You dudes have been reminding me all over on Twitter, too. So trust me. Nobody's ducking anything. I'm, I know what I signed myself up for. I still feel like potentially Wolf has a chance in the future for Star Fox Zero. But at this point, I just look like a delusional psychopath saying that. So I'm not going to push it too much more. But anyways, guys, we also need to talk about other things that we can do to prepare ourselves for Smash Brothers. And my good friend Reckless Yuki actually made an amazing video which showcases a piece of tech that you can use to play Smash Brothers lagless in your region. Don't worry, I'm not fucking advertising, nobody paid me to say this, but he made an incredible video which showed you using just the regular Wi-Fi to play Smash Brothers Online, or Ethernet, whatever you use, and then he showed it with this tool add-on extension, I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's some kind of tool that makes it so you battle people only with a certain ping, and only within a certain radius around you, so you can get lagless battles. It looks pretty damn cool. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out because it looks like it's going to be great if you want to get like really good matches without too much latency online. So I'm thinking that that might just be a tool that you want to check out. I'm hoping that I can find it on Amazon, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be available there. But check the video out. Seriously, if you want to play lagless matches online, I'm going to buy this product myself too. And it's not going to be sponsored or anything. No one's giving it to me for free. So if you guys truly do want me to break it down as well, I'll do my best. But my friend Yuki did it way better than I could ever try on this channel, so go check that out. Considering the Smash Brothers hype for tomorrow, you guys also heard me say that I mentioned I will be playing on 3DS. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been wondering, Etika, why haven't you been playing 3DS games lately? Your Fire Emblem, your Smash Brothers. More particularly, Smash Brothers is the reason as to why I'm going to explain. I haven't been playing it too much, but guys, I had a motherfucking capture card bought in. Gotcha Kitty, hooked your boy up. It came in a few hours ago, actually, a new capture card. So. The reason as to why I didn't play Smash Brothers is because the thing is, you guys already know the deal. I can't really play on the Wii U too effectively, so because of that, I'm on the 3DS most of the time, but you can't use the 3DS to play online modes with the Wii U, even with that whole Smash controller thing. It doesn't work for online modes with Wii U. You can't play For Glory with 3DS controls, or you can't play against friends on the Wii U with 3DS controls. So basically, I said to myself, all right, I have to play on my old 3DS capture card. But the problem with that is that the old 3DS the new, the, the, uh, these names are so fucking confusing, Nintendo. Oh shit! My my 3DS XL capture card does not play as well as the new 3DS XL, um, but this one is not a capture card. So whenever I play online modes with the 3DS, I always play it on this because the matches are way less laggy, way more responsive. Um, everything loads a lot faster on this thing, as you know, it has better processing power. This one is where the capture device is. So whenever I use this on stream, I always have lag and whatever. So I'm hoping that with my new 3DS XL capture card, this is not it, 
that I'll be able to play lagless matches with the 3DS version and potentially get back into playing Smash on a serious level when it comes to the streams. So Katsukiri, I once again went to her. I know a lot of people have drama with her, but so far the capture card, the, the regular 3DS XL capture card that I've had has been working ever since Pokemon X and Y. So the funniest part about this, however, is that back then, two years ago, I asked her specifically to give me a red 3DS XL and she gave me a blue one. So now recently I asked her, could you potentially give me a black new 3DS XL for my capture card. She gave me a fucking red one! Like, come on! Come, what, what the fuck did I do? Like, what, what, what did I do to deserve this, man? I know, maybe I'm complaining over nothing, and I know a lot of you are saying, well, you have a capture card, that's pretty big, man, you shouldn't be complaining. But I mean, if any of you dudes out there as well, too, were willing to spend up to $600 to get a capture card device from her, you would at least hope that maybe she could at least address your concern or say, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any in stock, not just leave it in the air and send you something that you don't want. But I mean, whatever the case may be, I'm still going to deal. I'm just happy that I have it in time for the DLC tomorrow, so it's all good. We're going to, I haven't tried it out yet, so we're going to have to test that shit, but for now, it seems like it might just do the job. So overall, it's going to be a really exciting day tomorrow. A lot's going to be happening. A lot of your favorite streamers will be online, and I'm just hoping that you can spend some time with your boy stream on YouTube Gaming later. It should be a lot of fun, and I'm going to be trying to take challenges from everybody. A lot of people say I only take challenges from sponsors or donators. That's not the case. I'm going to be trying my best to pass myself around as much as possible so all you can get your ass kicked by my dragon barefoot wife, man. I gotta I got make a statement with that girl, man. That's my that's my fantasy character right there. I gotta make a statement about it. But anyways, moving onward from Smash Brothers stuff, we have a couple of other topics that I wanted to talk about. Namely, the big games that are going to be coming out for later this year that so far can be speculated on. Nintendo recently released a list, and I, you know, it's just basic information. A lot of you guys already know these things, but we have upcoming titles, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, which a lot of people are hyped about. We have Fire Emblem Fates Birthright Conquest. Mario and Sonic at Rio, 2016 Olympic Games, who gives a fuck? We have Hyrule Warriors Legends. I didn't even get to play the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors, but to be honest with you guys, I'm usually a mobile junkie, so when it comes to playing games on the 3DS, I have a much better chance of playing them since they're more accessible, easy to pick up and play right away. Um, we also have Bravely Second and Lair, which I never got to play Bra Bravely Default, but that game looks amazing. Um, I saw a lot of artwork from it. Really, really enticing looking game. Um, a lot of my friends who are heavy into RPGs, who have a little bit more time to play them, told me that the game is hype. So I'll probably be giving a look as well too. We also have Dragon Quest Seven. Um, you, a lot of you guys are hype about this. And then we have Metroid Prime Fucker in the Pussy Force. Something that a lot of you dudes gave negative response to at first, but there have been some people that have been opening up to it slowly. I have to wait and see because it doesn't really look like it'll entice me too much. Metroid Prime um, Chicken Mission, I'm not really feeling it too much, but we'll have to see. Anyways, I'll have this list in the description for you guys so you can check out all of the titles that Nintendo has in the works for the early part of 2016. Um, so yeah, let me know what you're most excited for in the comments below. We also have on the Wii U side of things, Pokemon Tournament, um, the Twilight Princess HD, big titles that a lot of people are excited for. People want to know if I'm hyped for Pokemon Tournament. Yes and no. While I am kind of tired of the mainstream formula when it comes to Pokemon because it just seems like it's kind of taking on the same attributes over and over, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised about, but you know, it's not really helping in terms of other things that I'm hyped about with the Pokemon franchise. Go is an exception. I'm extremely excited about Pokemon Go, but Pokemon Tournament, we'll have to wait and see. I gotta feel it out. I gotta try it out myself first, have it in my own hands before I can get hype about it. So now, we all know for a fact that mum's been the word when it comes to Nintendo and discussing the Nintendo NX, but we did have some word earlier today that we could potentially be seeing something from it a lot sooner than we expect. Now, E3 is when everyone's pretty much thinking that the Nintendo NX is going to be shown off, but we have a quote from Tatsumi Kimishima today who says something along the lines of, we will be giving an update not too late in the course of this year. Now, he never specifically says an NX update, but he could potentially be talking about the mobile platform. Uh, we know that Tomo thing. But anyways, this is still good news. I mean, obviously, maybe he's talking about the NX. Most likely he is. So we could potentially be seeing something earlier. But in terms of a release window, probably in later on this year, holidays, it makes more sense that way. I don't think we're going to get the actual release of the NX any sooner than that. But the fact that he's actually mentioning it now, and this isn't the first time that he's talked about the NX. He's mentioned it beforehand too, saying as how it's going to break off from the Wii U branding and it's going to appeal to the modern day contemporary gamer a lot more, and hopefully to third party developer as well too. All I can say is Tatsumi's been saying things that I like to hear, and even though he's not the one that necessarily pioneered the Nintendo NX, that of course is Iwata, rest in peace, but I see it seems to me like Tatsumi knows where the fuck this project is going, and he's pushing this bitch in the right direction. 
direction. So all I can say and hope is that he continues in this light. And hey, you can remain as mum as you want, Nintendo. There's been a whole lot of other people that have been talking these rumors all over the place. That's all fine and dandy, but you gotta address it at some point. I hope that by the time that happens, you already have all your ducks in a row and the NX reveal will be one of the most mind-blowing announcements in Nintendo history. In fact, no, make it the most mind-blowing announcement, man. The hype is real for that thing, especially with the Smash Brothers port news, which we still don't know is confirmed for a fact or not, but it seems like the guys that have been talking got some kind of clout. So hey, Nintendo, all eyes are on you right now this is what you wanted right a whole stage to yourself you fucking got it so release that thing as soon as possible okay i'm just letting you know now going back to the smash brothers side of things we have some unfortunate news in regards to bizarro flame if you don't know this man then you're not too savvy on your melee knowledge even though i definitely wasn't at one point bizarro flame is one of the most creative flashy players to watch when playing smash brothers melee with ganondorf this dude has been styling stunting and disrespecting for years now and sadly, it seems like he is finally retiring from Smash Brothers. Now, he recently joined um, Team U-Porn <laughs> as an esports team. I mean, it, it worked though. It worked though. Jazaro Flame and U-Porn. What a great combination, in my opinion. But um, I'll have this link in the description as well, too, guys. They're looking at the guy now, he's been in the game for so long. I mean, he seems like a fucking adult, man. <laughs> like, I mean, we, we're all adults, I suppose, at this point. But goddamn. I remember watching Bizarro before I even knew who the hell he was or had a reputation attached to the guy, back when I didn't even know nothing about the competitive scene, but I mean, it was great to live this journey with him all this time. One thing he mentioned is that he's not a full-time Smash Brothers player, he's actually a legal attorney full-time. I, I didn't even know this myself, so obviously that's going to demand a lot of his time and he just won't be able to focus on Melee as much now, so he's just going to basically kind of roam around, leave himself more open to other kinds of games as well too, but Melee won't just be the sole thing in his life. So understand man I hope that your decision takes you into a much better place than you are right now I guess you quit for a reason so I mean all I can say is that I love watching you and regardless of um, what context you play in the future I'll definitely be there to cheer you on it was great seeing him in person in Las Vegas when they were playing in the salty suite great times all around yo bizarro man take care of yourself dude we all had a great time let me let me get a let me get a fucking wait this is not a live stream but i say man let me get a fucking yeah let me get an easy money guys you're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow and i'm really hoping that you dudes will be able to join me for the streams it's going to be a great time and maybe we can interact with other streams along the way as well too if you guys remember i used to do those invasions where i would like jump into people's streams and attack them randomly i only did that probably once on camera but i did it a couple of times off camera really fun stuff um maybe we can get some guest features on the channel as well too in regards to all the hype tomorrow we'll see what happens man we are finally at the final frontier with smash brothers dlc and as much as i wish wolf was included it doesn't mean that we don't have a star-studded roster as it is i can't wait to get into it tomorrow um, i'll let you dudes know exactly what my plans are as the day progresses uh that's basically it man thank you for joining me for the hype report for february 2nd 2016 i will talk to you dudes in the next video take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one